found these things. I don't really know what these are for. Um, each side says 25 on them. It's really heavy. Uh, looks like it's made out of metal and it's painted. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do some research on this. I'm going I'm to Google what these are. They look like they're some kind of a weight what do you do with it though do you hold on to it and swing it up and down maybe or maybe it's some kind of a ancient weapon or you have to be really strong to be able to hold them in each hand and fight your opponent with them maybe you use the end of it to butt them on the head but that looks like it's a lot of work So I did do some research on these strange looking uh, pieces of metal. I thought they were parts to a vehicle or a weapon, but I did pay somebody to do the research for me. Yes, that's right. I paid somebody to do the research for me and this was the, what they came up with. These are called dumbbells. Yes. You grab them with your hand, you lift it up and you can do curls and such with them. You lift them up and you work your muscles with them. Yes, that's what they're for. But the history is dumb. Why are they called dumbbells? So that person I paid to do the research for me told me this. Back in, uh, I think it was in France, they, they built those giant bells and there's something that's inside the bell that makes it ding it's the, the swing the pendulum inside of it I don't know what it's called but, but the, the ones that didn't work good they took them out and they didn't know what to do with them that was that was the size of them and they were called dumbbells so it's, it goes inside the bell maybe it's on a rope or whatever and they they swing the rope and it dings the bell for the cathedral but when they stopped working, they would take them out. And I guess strong men of the day would would take those and use those as weights for lifting weights. Hence the name dumbbell. It was a scrap piece from the bell.